Howdy, it's Matt, and it's Maiden Day, and it's Maiden Day of iNav in the FX61. Now, I'll give you a heads up, I've got the uh, Fat Shots recording over there. I turned it on, and uh, literally within 20 seconds, nine satellites. That's why I recommend, recommend those GPS units. So we're gonna have a quick rundown on the model. I'm sure you've seen it before, but just in case, we're gonna have a quick nose, uh, and then we're gonna go and lob it and give her a maiden. Uh, so let's have a quick look. Receiver, video transmitter on the opposite wing, GPS unit in there. There's the flight controller you saw me uh, installing uh, into that wing. We've got a 5200 pack in there. There's a fair chunk of lead in the nose on this one uh, to hit CG. Uh, so I'll worry about that later. But everything's done up all nice and neat. And we've got a run cam eagle on the uh, nose on this one. Uh, again, the eagle was a fantastic camera, but... It is rather expensive. Uh, and you'll also notice, when I get that sat on my head, uh, we've got a nice little knacker duck on the top. So I'm just quick, last visual inspection of all the wiring. Everything's in there nice and neat. Nothing's come loose. Uh, and I've already checked the FPV on the camera, so that's good. So let's get the lid down out of the way. So just clunk that in, like so. Quick uh, surface check, right, right left up down now what i am going to do is stick it in a horizon mode horizon. and uh, we're just going to check the surfaces am i so nose down sorry nose up and both surfaces have gone down nose down and both surfaces have gone up i think i said that the right way then didn't i <laughs> it is right though and if we go right that one's coming up and that one's going down and the same on the opposite side that's all good Brilliant. Looks good, yeah? Good. Yeah, and by the way, always ask someone to get someone else to watch what you're doing. So, yeah, nose down and they come up. Is there enough movement there? I don't know. Might have to. Movement. It's not a huge amount, but again, depends what it does in the air. Yeah. Right, uh, I do need to sync the cameras a moment. And that camera is not in there straight, is it? <laughs> oh, well. Again, we'll sort that out later. Right. Engines are. So that's arms. I am just going to quickly just check in the goggles, am I? Yeah, oh, it's showing 17 satellites. You'll see that on the little uh, video, and I'll put an insert video on this for you. Nah, it's, it's right, honest. Do you remember I said about that one thing which I could get wrong? Yeah, and it's wrong, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Propeller's going the wrong way round. Right, no stress. See why, isn't it? Right, let's make sure that works. It's going the right way. Right, here we go. And I'm... Race mode. I'm in race mode, where it says race mode. That's pass-through mode. And that's what I suggest for you, is your maiden flight with iNav, fly in pass-through mode, because then you can make sure everything kind of works as you expect. And I've just seen my wiring's not particularly great underneath there, but we won't tell anybody about that. So it's flying. Brilliant. So I'm flying it around in pass through mode at the moment. And now we're going to get lots and lots of height on. You want to be at least a, like a mistake and a bit high. And now I'm going to go to horizon. Now you'll see that I'm keeping my finger on the switch. All right, I've not hit it yet. So I'm going to bring it round and fly it away from myself because that's the easiest way of controlling the model. And I'm going to flick into Horizon. Right. You see that I've still got my finger on the switch. All right, just in case anything wrong. Maybe you've got one of the surfaces wrong. Uh, and uh, it's flying lovely in Horizon. There we go. Just taking the edge off it. Right. Off. So. Heading hold active. Return to launch. So I've just hit return to launch. Right, it is coming around. It is coming around. Again, I've got my hands on the sticks, ready to take control if I need to. It's coming home. Maybe too much throttle on the return to home, if I'm honest. 
Again, I've still, still got my hands ready to poise to take control, but uh, that would be classed as a successful iNav maiden. There we go, and it's circling around above our heads. And again, can you hear the throttle? That's too much throttle uh, for the cruise throttle, so I need to change the setting for that. Besides that, it is loitering. Maybe the loiter circle's not, it is too big. So, so I'm in acro mode at the moment. It's kind of like flying itself. Now if I do, that's heading hold active. So it, it, will, oh, it will hold its direction. And then I'm going to bring it into land. So throttle off. I think I might have to do a second pass because these things glide forever. Oh, I don't. No, I'm not going to force it. Right, let's bring it round. Bring it into glide. Sorry, I was quite forceful on that. <laughs> right. Engine off. Disarming. There you go. I was maybe a little bit aggressive getting it down then, but I wanted to share this with you. Let's just think about the steps which I just did so you can repeat them. I turned it on, waited for a whole collection of satellites, like minimum of nine, ideally more. Then we checked the surfaces over. Uh, we made sure the surfaces worked in pass-through mode. Then we moved to horizon mode, the uh, stabilise mode, and when we moved the model around, the surfaces reacted in the way which we expected. We checked with a colleague, so thank you Craig over there. Cheers sir. Uh, get someone else to check the surfaces for you, and I strongly suggest that one. Me and Dave, uh, a couple of months back, we both looked at a model and said it was looking fine, and we threw it in the air and it was the wrong way round, so do get someone else to check it for you. Then we got her up into the sky and we launched her with pass-through mode. Now that's my biggest tip for you. Do not launch with a stabilized mode out of the box for your maiden. Obviously you can do that later on. That Whatever you do later on, that's fine. But when it comes to the uh, maiden of your model, launch in pass-through mode, okay? About medium rates for your model. And as you saw, she went off. Ironically, she didn't need any trim. I didn't hit that trim switch at all. Then we got around, and remember, we got. I did one loop, and it didn't feel like it was high enough, and I brought her back right round again and got up higher, and then I tried horizon. Now, remember, I kept my finger on that switch, on that horizon switch, just in case it did spin on me, because the checks were wrong on the ground, and it would try to spin in or go and up or down on us. So I kept my finger on the switch, I clicked into horizon, and you notice that I flew the model like in front of me going away because that's the easiest way to rescue a model. She flew absolutely fine. Uh, again, just tried into acro mode as well, got around, and then we tried to return to home. The model went out and she went round on there and then came round and then she started to circle above our heads and I was listening. And that's the thing which you need to do is listen, it is for that size model, we didn't need 1500 cruise. So I will change the setting for the cruise throttle. That was too much. Uh, and with that said, she circled above her head. Could have been a little bit tighter, to be honest. So that's the, uh, it's a radius setting. And by the way, all the settings which I'm talking about, I'll put in the video description for you. Uh, and then we brought her into land. Let's go and disarm her. Uh, and uh, yeah, I was a little bit aggressive getting her down, but uh, in my head, she was coming down and oops. Maybe I was a little bit too aggressive bringing it down because I've been a snap the propeller. So uh, oops a daisy on that front. But for all intents and purposes, that was a successful iNav maiden. There you go, she's powered down. So if you have been following me along in this series, uh, if you've got any questions about iNav, remember there is a playlist for the whole series. I'll put that in the video description for you. If you've enjoyed this, do me a favour, hit the thumbs up button underneath. And I'll see you in the next episode. For myself, Matt, happy iNavin. Cheerios.